du melang san bonan ngo mage vilagati lolokhulumago mmc we social development eh mage vilagati mphephetse ndivu kute bafo lo adlatsa tso wa botsa kana mhlehlo unesipapakatane ukhuluma la kule department yaka community and social development welcome to the south african library week which is going to start on the 15th of March to the 20th of March. During this time of the pandemic, more especially during level one, we had so many challenges in terms of accessing our programs. We had to think out of the box as the city of Tuane to see how we still render our services to the residents. The city had to come up with innovatives such as wafers, uh, e-books, and e-newspapers. These are some of the interventions that the city had to take to make sure that the residents of the city of Tswane are getting the relevant information there. I would love to thank the librarians for coming up even during this difficult time to make sure that the services of the libraries are rendered to the residents of the city of Tswane. I am the librarian at Pitigan Library in Region 1. The library was opened in 1999. The library is situated near the Mabopane Station and the Soshanguve Mall, and also the clinic is nearby. And we've got four surrounding schools that are a walking distance to the library, and also the stakeholders that are helping the library with programs. Pudiben Library forms part of the nine libraries in Region 1. The library collection that is available in the library are adult section, the teenage section, the junior section, and the toddler section. All the non-fiction books in the library are arranged according to the Dewey Decimal Classification, and the fiction books are arranged according to the first three letters of the author's surname. Before COVID-19, the following programs were available in the library. Storytelling, teenage programs, debate, spelling bee. But due to the fact that the COVID-19 has affected all of us, the programs that I mentioned are no longer taking place. In order for the library to continue with the library programs, we suggest that we use all the social media platforms. Welcome to Hamanskral Community Library Tour. My name is Paul Maluleka. Hamanskral Community Library was built in 1998 under Eastern Routing Service Council. It was officially opened on the 12th of June 1999 by uh, our former premier, Dr. Matole Motsega. Amanskral Community Library, it's centered in Mandela Village. Business surrounding our library are as follows. We have community stall in Mandela uh, Stadium. We also have Rainbow Shopping Center, Copanon Shopping Center, and kilomet uh, two kilometers away from us, we have uh, Jubilee Mall. Our library is servicing uh, the surrounding schools, which are 10, uh, prim 10 uh, schools, and which are six primary schools, four high schools, and we also have the stakeholders, which are Department of Education, Department of Arts and Culture, and Sports and Recreation, and we also have uh, the faith, and we also have faith-based organization. In Region 2, we have six libraries, namely Amaskra Library, Steve Biko Library, Temba Library, Suruma Library, Stangwater Library, and Offer Grain Library. Due to COVID-19, the following programs in Region 2 are affected. Born to Read, Read Aloud, and Oral Book Day. In order to solve these problems, we intend to use social media platforms like Twitter, and WhatsApp. 
Welcome to Stemvater Library. My name is Tabahala Ani, the librarian. This library was donated by Houteng Library Services in 2015 and was officially opened to the public on the 4th of May 2017 by a former MMC councillor Nontikele Lomokot. It is an information service point to over four secondary high schools, 25 daycare centers, six primary schools and four NGOs in the area of Stemvater. It also caters for the information needs of our local uh, neighboring village called New Estress, which currently doesn't have a library of its own. Thank you. Welcome to New Atreville Community Library. My name is Shatrek Masheho. I'm a librarian here. New Atreville Library is one of the seventh uh, libraries in Region 3 West. So in order to become a member, we'll give you a form. Uh, we'll need you to bring along with you a proof of residence, along with your ID, so that we will give you a card. With the card, you can take a maximum of six books. And then you can take them for a period of two weeks. So you can also renew them telephonically as well. The library is open from Monday till Friday, from 9 o'clock till 10 to 5. And on Saturday from half past 8 till 10 to 1. This is our computer section. Uh, users can use this area for all their computer needs, which includes research, job hunting, typing, and their school project. This is our lending section. It includes adult fiction, adult non-fiction. We also have teenage fiction, teenage non-fiction, as well as junior fiction and junior non-fiction. We also do have a toddler section, which includes toddler fiction and toddler non-fiction. Children can use these tablets to play games and to download electronic stories or e-books. Before COVID, crutches around here used to bring their children to read books. Sometimes the librarian will read stories for them. Welcome to Iskia Mpaglele Library. My name is Mariska Schools and I'm the senior librarian at this public library. The library was named after Professor Iskia Mpaglele in 2004. When you visit the library, you can read more about this wonderful man's life at this display, which highlights all the high points in his life. Another advantage of having a membership card is that you can sign up on Overdrive to access our free online collection. This book for adults, seniors, teenagers, juniors, in all genres, Afrikaans, English, even non-fiction. Eskia Mpaglele Library has the biggest reference collection of all 20 public libraries. Our books are divided into reference, non-fiction, fiction, and then junior and teenagers collections. They are also books for the little ones at our toddler section. We also have a huge study area where we used to have place for 800 students pre-COVID. Unfortunately, with the regulations, we are down to only 250 students. But we hope to accommodate many more as soon as the regulations are lifted. At our library, we present many programs to nurture a love for reading. Young people enjoy playing chess for recreational reasons. Our little children do story hours and participate in arts and crafts programs. For our matric rewrites, we present free of charge tutoring sessions to assist with those difficult subjects such as maths and science. Everybody is welcome at this library and whenever we can, we do upliftment of our community. My name is James Buali. I'm working for the city of Swani in the Heritage Resources Management Unit. 
Swani Heritage Research Center is one of the important resources in the city and is found in the Esgiam Patlele Library. In the center, we find important historical information on the old Pretoria and the current Swani. The users of the center will be able to get very important information that they cannot actually get anywhere else other than in the center. Books, newspaper cuttings, articles, maps, photos, videos, and CDs. In the center, we find different books on the history of the locations within the city. So the youth, the student, the community, for in case in Atrejville, if they want information on Atrejville, they should visit the center to get the information. The center has a photographic section that is holding more than 4,500 photographs on the history of Tswani, and it's very much important. If you are in the location, in the township, in Mamilodi or Atrejville, you don't necessarily have to come to the resource center which is in the city. You can actually go to your nearest library and then ask whatever historical information about your location. They will be able to link you with the resource center that is sitting actually in the city. And then you can also use the online whereby you can ac access the information that is there. Good afternoon. My name is Bonkin Kunki. Welcome to Oliver Nord Bosch Library, one of the libraries in Region 4. This library is in Tucson Community Centre. The offices that are around this municipal, there are municipal offices here, like the clinic that deals with health care, the customer care that deals with the customer complaints, the youth office, which deals with the youth uh, issues in the community. We have many schools that are using our library. And we also have crashes and NGO around here. Good afternoon, my name is Sarama Puta. The library was opened on the 27th of October 2007 by the late MEC Kabisa Musongkutu and former Nukensa Taimani Mayor, Councillor Anadihor. I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, William Kutumela, who's going to take you through other activities. Uh, welcome, viewers. I'm William Kutumela, a library assistant in the area called Onferwacht. Onferwacht offers the services of reading, lending out books to members as well as opening of membership to the community of Onferwacht as well as surrounding farms and schools which are making use of the library. Because this is the only library in the area of Onferwacht that the community is mainly having access to be able to make use of. And then the stakeholders that we are having, that we are mainly working hand in hand with us, we are having ECD centers, which are two of them in the area of Onferwacht, as well as a primary school. Uh, the language is spoken in the area of Onferwacht is Afrikaans and Sipedi, Setswana and Sizulu. Those are the main languages which are mainly being used in the area of Onferwacht, as well as within the number of members that we are having that are borrowing and making use of the libraries. I thank you. Hello. My name is Lucas Machipa from Stansabu Papi Community Library. Let me take you through the brief background of this library. Stansabu Papi Library was firstly established 
1997 at the community wall. In 2011, the city of Swani decided to build this library and the short tenure was 2011, May. Thereafter, in 2014, this library was officially opened by the then former councillor Nosi Pomakeke on behalf of the, of the executive mayor of Tswane, Koshien Suramokhopa. And from there on, the library continues to render a very important services to this community. And our success for rendering a service is, comes from the dedication of the staff who are really putting all the efforts to make sure that these services keeps on growing. Welcome to Rotabisa Library. My name is Lofinas Meso, librarian at Rotabisa Library. The library is situated in Prongos Parade, city of Swan, Region 7. Rotabisa Library forms part and parcel of six libraries in our region. Rotabisa Library forms part and parcel of six libraries in our region, namely Ekangala B, Ekangala F, uh, Sokulumi, Prongo Sprite, and Zitobin. Uh, good morning, my name is Evelyn. I'm Evelyn Majokane. I am the functional head responsible for operational support uh, within the City of Tswane Library Information Services. Um, the operational support, it entails five sections, of which one of the section is the one that I'm in. It's the book acquisition section. And in the book acquisition section, we are responsible for acquiring the books, actually all the information resources, for the city of Tswane libraries, meaning all the libraries within the regions and branches and, and sections. Um, in the operational support, how we work, um, we work with the appointed suppliers from uh, supply chain management. From the appointed suppliers, we organize the book selection whereby the librarians will come and select the books according to the gaps in their libraries. Um, after the, the, the section, after we acquire the books, uh, we take the books to another section, which is a cataloging section. From the cataloging section, it is where we catalog the books. Uh, we catalog the books, put them in our uh, system. We have a library software that is called Cersei. We put the books on Cersei. And after putting the books uh, on Cersei, in order for our library patrons to be able to search and borrow the books. From the cataloging section, we take our books to the book processing. In the books processing section, it is where we stamp our books, uh, we mark our books according to categories, and then the books will be dispatched to the respective library branches. Um, we have um, the fourth section within the operational support is the depot services. With the depot services, it's the service that is uh, mainly for those uh, people that are unable to reach the library services. What is happening in the depot services is that we prepare the books uh, for those like, uh, for example, at the homes, the old age homes, uh, the schools that are at uh, the farms, the farm school. We prepare uh, the, the books, uh, we take them from our system, put them in the boxes, send them to their libraries. We actually give them the books. We are in the fifth um, section of the operational support, which is a mobile library services. With the mobile library services, we have three mobile library services that are operating within the city of Tswane. 
Um, currently, we have about 20 uh, stops. Thank you, team. We are now handing over to the grant management team to give you the tour. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Matabo Elizabeth Ramushokwana. I'm the senior librarian at Grant Management and Reading Promotions Unit of the City of Tswane Community Libraries. The unit is responsible for all the service delivery budget implementation project, which we call them SDBIP approved projects. The projects are Born to Read, which focuses on the um, target market is pregnant mothers, ECD centers, and the toddlers. We also have the um, Indigenous Language Preservation Program, which we focus on promotion of all the indigenous languages in South Africa. We also have the book publishing campaign, whereby our theme is Local as Lekker, and we focus on promotion of locally published books. We also have the South African Library Week, whereby we are doing a visual library tour for all 20 libraries. The Library Week will be celebrated from the 15th to the 20th of March 2021. Thereafter, we will have the World Book Day, the 23rd of April 2021, whereby we are going to make a book launch for all our local authors that has published within a period of lockdown until the current date. We also have the Career Expo, but due to COVID-19, we are unable to do the physical Career Expo. We are going to go virtually, whereby we are going to do a virtual seminar on scarce skills. Other projects that used to be presented, like Spelling Bee and Debate, will have to be moved um, forward, whereby we are considering to go either virtual or um, we will go on radio and all other social medias to implement them. And the reading promotion unit is also responsible for procurement of the reading promotions material using the departmental budget as well as budget received from grants that we receive from Gauteng Provincial Library Services. While we focus on reading promotions throughout the city of Tswane, we also look at strategic partnerships such as the National Library of South Africa, the Kara Institute, the National Heritage Council, as well as the embassies that are in Tuane. We have a good relationship with the American Embassy Pretoria, whereby they have established the American corner inside the Eskiam Patele Library. Hello, this is a tour to the American Corner Pretoria. It's at the semi Mark Square inside the Skiam Patlele Library. Entry is free and the services at the American Corner are also free. You'll find the friendly staff ready to welcome you and show you all the services that are available. It was established in 2014 when the city of Tuani agreed to partner with the United States Embassy create a space that will promote research and professional development. Accessing the American corner is as easy as checking in. You'll have free access to books, popular magazines. You'll have access to our workstations where you can access high-speed internet and online databases. The American corner also has a state-of-the-art maker space. It's an awesome space for creatives with programs such as photography and filmmaking, STEM programs, 3D design, coding, and robotics. The American Corner also has presentation radio auditoriums where you can attend different programs such as entrepreneurship workshops, exchange programs like Education USA, you can attend massive open online courses, panel discussions on different topics, web chats, video conferencing, and film screening. 
The auditoriums are also fit to accommodate the arts, from visual arts to performing art, to hosting exhibitions, poetry workshops, open mic sessions, and it's all free. So come, be a part of the American Corner Pretoria.